how pole vault became the world's deadliest sport. In the 1960s and 1970s, flawed traditional flexible pole methods taught pole vaulters to invert above the plant box and runway during the flex pole's recoil action. In the 1980s, longer poles and higher grips caused vaulters to be pushed further out over the plant box and runway, which now placed vaulters in even greater danger than before. In the 1990s and 2000s, the athletic establishment continues going in the deadly wrong direction, as high-priced mats expand further and further up the sides of runways. The exaggerated expansion of the side mats is a result of the two deadliest traditional concepts that ensure pole vault catastrophe. The deadliest traditional teachings, full-speed approach runs and pressing flexible poles forward, are primitive, hazardous concepts that exacerbate a clothesline jerk action guaranteeing vaulters will always invert dangerously over the runway and plant box as flexed poles recoil prematurely when applying flawed traditional methods. The traditional pole vault methods of full-speed approach runs and pressing flexible poles forward deliberately apply lethal laws of physics to deadly flexible vaulting poles that are manufactured and designed to force vaulters backwards above the runway using these archaic pole vaulting concepts. In 1992, Airstrike introduced solutions to achieve safer, higher, and proper flexible pole vault execution, including horizontal flex pole rotation, which gently guides the vaulter into the pullover position as the vaulter's body weight loads and cocks the pole precisely to manufacturer requirements. The vaulter's inversion triggers the upward recoil action of the flexed pole, causing the vaulter to spring vertically skyward above the landing mats. Note, pullover to inversion skyward dynamics are executed entirely safely above the landing mats. Here you can see animations of front, top and side flexing pole views, illustrating how to properly load and cock flexible vaulting poles by correctly applying the airstrike method to launch the vaulter vertically skyward while the body inversion process and pole recoil are performed entirely above the landing mats to maximize the vaulter's safety. Note again, pullover to inversion skyward dynamics are executed entirely safely above the landing mats. Warning, this movement must be learned and perfected safely applying rigid pole and flexible training pole progressions. Gradual step-by-step -step repetition of our very elementary exercises is critical to proper horizontal flex pole rotation execution. Try this simple physics test for yourself. While the body is suspended, hanging from a high bar in a position simulating a full running stride, hands spread apart, cross-gripped, Rotate the body, turning to face 90 degrees or more, to the side away from the natural front-facing position dictated by gravitational forces. This exercise demonstrates the reactionary forces of suspended body weight that cause the body to twist uncontrolled as a result of fighting the flexing pole by choosing to press forward against it instead of intelligently deciding to benefit by cooperating with the natural physics of the powerful flexible vaulting pole. The lesson is, pressing flexible poles is a fight any vaulter is guaranteed to lose. Now you know some of the reasons that substantiate how pole vault became the world's deadliest sport. Visit us at howtopolevault.com and for further in-depth airstrike pole vault information, please subscribe to our How to Pole Vault YouTube channel.